Welcome back to our channel, Chandra. Also, again after a gap. Uh, in this traditional tutorial, we will learn about how to work with the composite art tool. Uh, actually, let's learn about what is the use of tool. Use of this tool. This is very simple, guys. Uh, this composite part tool is mostly useful for when you want to export the parts into another CAD software or in any other CAD, other CAD platform. Uh, like usually uh, how does it works means it is used to make the bodies uh, combine each other and make it as a single part even if they are not contact with each other let me show you how does it works here you can see after the variable tool this is called composite part when you click on it you can see it is asking entities so we have several different parts here right like surface and uh, some thickened part some faces and parts okay so by using composite tool you can make this all parts into a single part like just we need to give the entities there see and just set filtering and clicking on okay now you can see these all parts are not being in part of here because we made this all parts into a one single composite part so so here it acts like a simple part even uh, after made this into composite part we can perform the other other operations here there is nothing restrictions in the, about that okay uh, and uh, if you can see there is a, another uh, button here closed if you get uh, closed the whole part will turn into a single part which means this all parts like a single part and it Considered as it will not consider as a separate part. If you click on, if you do not uh, click on the closest tool, it acts like a composite part only, but it still remains as a separate parts. So you may get confusion. What is the use of this? Still, uh, as I'm saying before, it is just for uh, mostly useful for performing the uh, exporting the parts because you know. Uh, when you exporting and importing in another console, CAD software, you you may can see some defects or missing some parts, missing some parts in, in the file. So to avoid that, uh, by by using this composite tool, we can perform that operations. That is the useful guys, and you can also perform the other operations. You can also import all tool at the same time in the part studio. I mean, sorry, in the assembly itself, and you can give make connectors to them. And it still acts like a uh, separate part. It's not a boolean part, guys. Don't get confused, okay? Boolean part makes into single part, but composite part makes into a one composite part. There is a difference between them, okay? It's just like a make make the combination of parts into uh, one single entity. That's the difference. You can also composite points, sketches, everything you want, okay? And uh, if you want to. If you don't, if you want to exit from this composite parts, you can simply uh, delete the feature, or else you can uh, use the delete part here. And you can see it is asking delete composite parts, dissolve or ignore. So you can perform this. I want to dissolve and give entities here, select the part, and you can see they again be back to their original parts. Now they are at separate parts, and you can see here also parts gas increase okay that is the difference guys and then that is the exact tool exact working and useful of composite part and you can also perform some irregular or organic shapes for just visible types uh, and also for your care understanding and some designs when it's not possible but the you need to okay so i just also worked with the same in some kinds like a the tractor project i use this only composite tool when it's not working with the uh rear wheel shaft okay uh if you are not uh, watching that my tractor video i can give you that video in the description and watch it clearly and guys i already released the trust what i my 15 days work of 22 21 parts of design and i just uploaded uh, if you have missed it please watch it and let me know how is it and soon I'm going to teach you that kind of uh, work with you guys and make you professional in the CAD designing. 
that's all about today's topic guys and this is how to work with the composite tool uh, you can upload that i'm just like explain you the simple tools now because of i'm having some class guys so and then these parts are really heavy we need to make you understand these are very complicated see many entities and many options are there so to explain them it just takes time that's why i'm not uh, entering them directly so i will teach you these surfaces and curves these are these both are very important for surface designing uh, so in the upcoming tutorials i will explain you about that guys uh, right now this is how to use the composite path tool in the answer cast software thank you guys thank you if you have really uh, get information about uh, how to work with this uh, uh, please do like share and subscribe our channel guys thank you have a nice day